The eruption of Kilauea continues on the Middle East Rift Zone within a remote area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And the latest phase of the event is the most voluminous of the eruption so far. This fourth phase began around 3.15 Wednesday afternoon when a new fissure vent opened just west of Napao Crater, sending cascades of lava pouring over the western cliffs and rapidly covering the crater floor. The lava falls could be seen at a distance throughout the night on a U.S. Geological Survey webcam. As of noon on Thursday, fresh lava now covers about two-thirds of the crater floor. The USGS volcano alert level remains at watch. Officials say there is no immediate threat to life or infrastructure, although residents of nearby subdivisions may experience volcanic gas emissions related to this activity, which may increase and decrease over the coming hours and days. Sulfur dioxide emission rates measured yesterday afternoon were 10,000 tons per day. This interactive map is being updated often by the USGS, showing the progression of the lava flows over the course of the day. The map also gives an idea as to the location of the eruption. Scientists say there are no indications of any volcanic changes further downrift on the middle or lower east rift zones. The chain of Craters Road was reopened on Wednesday. However, the National Park Service warns that since then, volcanic hazards have increased from the eruption site. Heavy concentrations of volcanic gases and particulate matter may occur along chain of craters, and motorists are being asked not to stop at overlooks or on the side of the road. They say eruption viewing is not possible, although lava glow may be present in the sky at night. Visitors should be prepared for heavy traffic, long lines of cars, limited parking, and no restrooms. Seismic tremor remains strong near the eruption site, and it increased significantly with the onset of the new vent on Wednesday. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says multi-day fissure eruptions are not unusual, and the current eruptive activity appears to be linked to the supply of magma from the summit. Officials are keeping a close eye on the situation. Eruptions like these can last a few days or even years. Only time will tell how long this event will continue.